Okay, this is our physics take-home exam or our take-home laboratory. We're going to be doing this in lieu of a lab on October 10th. This will be our seventh lab for the semester. And this one's going to be on inertia and the measurement of inertia. Uh, there's a complete explanation on what inertia is giving in the handout. But it basically it's resistance. And we're going to have two objects that we're going to measure inertia on. One is this flat plate, and the other one is this disc that has a, an inside portion of the diameter cut out. These are the two pieces that are the focus of the lab. If you look on our screen here, uh, the first way we're going to do, measure the, the inertia is by the dimensions of these objects. And all the equations on dimensions are given on page seven of your lab. And basically what you need to know is the mass or the weight of these objects and their radius. In this case, uh, there's only one radius and in this case there's an inner and an outer radius. If you know this information, you can calculate the inertia for each of these objects. Now the second way we're going to do it is via a measurement. We're going to measure the tangential acceleration of each one of these objects and knowing that information with your equations that are shown on page 8 we can calculate the inertia of each object measuring the tangential acceleration. If you come over to this setup we have here this is simply a force meter or a force sensor that will help us measure the tangential acceleration. What we have here is uh, a pulley here uh, and we also have down here uh, another pulley which is called a step pulley. Uh, the acceleration is going to be measured at the pulley on top uh, but in order to be able to calculate the tangential acceleration we have to know the radius of this pulley and again that's given in your handout. To calculate it using measurement we need to know again the mass of each the mass of the weight hanging here on the spring. It will be a total of 0 0.02 kilograms. We also need to know the radius of the step pulley. That's in your information. We need to know gravity, which we all know, in meters per second squared, and we're going to measure the tangential acceleration. That measurement's given in table uh, three of your handout. <coughs> if you bring the camera over here, the tangential acceleration is going to be measured up here off of this pulley. So what we do to do that is we put the flat plate in place and we back it up. We have 20 grams hanger and weight, and our measurement is going to measure the tangential acceleration out here. How quickly this accelerates, like now. And that measurement's in your handout. We're going to do it a second time. This time, we're not just going to have the flat plate, but we're going to have the disc on top. And we're going to wind it up again. going to drop this weight and we're going to measure the tangential acceleration again. So if you look at what information we'll have, we'll have the inertia of the plate based on a dimension. We'll have the inertia of the ring based on a dimension will have the inertia of the plate and ring based on this measured tangential acceleration and will have the inertia of the plate alone based on the tangential acceleration. And the way we find the measured tangential acceleration and inertia of the ring alone is we're going to subtract the plate and ring measured from the plate only measured. A minus B, and that'll give us the ring only. We 
when we have all this information, the purpose of the lab is to compare the inertia of each of these objects based on the dimensions compared to the inertia of these objects based on our measurement of tangential acceleration. And that's our lab.